All hail Caesar, an American love story is a travel show. But due to these unprecedented times, the Caesar currently cannot take to the road. So in this episode, the Caesar will bring the road to us. All hail Caesar, an American love story was not filmed before a live audience. Ah, yeah. Everybody loves the Caesar, the whole world loves him too. Oh, look at you. Hello, everybody. It's me. Caesar! Ah, yeah! Hello, everybody! Hello, everybody! It's me, Caesar! <laughs> Look at you! Look at you! You all look gorgeous! <laughs> oh. San Francisco! Open your golden gates! Let me in! I left my heart in there! San Francisco! A rough and tumble town! They came from all over the world during the gold rush of at 1049. They went to the Pacific Ocean. And when they got there, they realized it was cold and wet. So they got out of the ocean and went straight to the Barbara Coast. And there they frolicked, they rocked. Sellers, miners, hungry for companionship, body entertainment, or as I like to call it, Sunday brunch at the Caesars. <laughs> San Francisco. Victorian homes, those pantalones, the bridges, the sound of a little cable car, lumber streets, the hate, technology, freedom. San Francisco unites us. San, San Francisco unites rice and macaroni. Thus was born rice-a-roni, the San Francisco treat. <laughs> if you're going to San Francisco, go with the scissor. <laughs> Time, a time when the Caesar has a little chat with a local hero, and I cannot wait to do that right now, my angels. Please welcome, representing San Francisco, my friend April Kidwell. Welcome, April. Hi. <laughs> How are you, my friend? I'm great. How are you? Oh my golly, you are definitely representing San Francisco with the tie-dye. I'm having a flashback just engaging with you right now, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are divine. Wonderful to have you here, April. And I hear you are doing some wonderful things for the community. And of course, this Caesar and his millions of viewers would like to hear. Sure. I am within a community of seamstresses and we are making masks for the community here in San Francisco and I make masks like this one that matches my outfit. Ah, lovely. I've got these masks. La, 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 la. I just keep on making masks. They're free for essential workers. I've been graciously and humbly accepting donations from non-essential workers, which keeps me afloat as well as afford materials to make the free masks and the shipping to make the free masks. And um, me and my neighbors have actually been doing what we can to help out our homeless neighbors here in Haight-Ashbury. It's all about how you react in these kind of situations. It's appropriate to be concerned, but are you gonna let anxiety take you over? Or are you gonna be proactive and help out and be of service? Well, that is absolutely true. And I have to ask you, how do the people find out about these masks? How are you making it known to the general public? Instagram, um, putting up posters, DIY, doing it myself, like a 14-year-old 
doing landscaping, just putting up posters around the neighborhood. And I have a link to a website for submission orders that it keeps all organized. It's truly a grassroots effort and you are exemplary. And I thank you for that. It now, feels like a Rosie the Riveter kind of situation. Yeah, you know, the whole, like, I love it. Yes, <laughs> I love it. There's one other opportunity I will, the Caesar would like to give you, uh, if I may. It's a chance for you to mention a favorite charity and we will put it forth for all to see. Yes, the San Francisco Arts and Artists Relief Fund, they're putting together loans and grants for San Francisco artists that have lost work. I myself, lost all my work as a performing artist. I've been able to support myself with making masks and to help other seamstresses, but a lot of us artists aren't seamstresses like myself. And so this is an organization that is helping us stay afloat. It is wonderful. I hail and to you. Admiral. Also, San Francisco's Oasis Nightclub. I'm a part of the drag community here in San Francisco. We can't perform at our home, our cabaret theater, and so we're putting all of our old productions, our previous productions are on YouTube streaming, and so the club is sharing all of the donations made with all the performers who are out of work. It is wonderful. Here's to the entertainers, and here's to you, April. Cheers oh, to you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, yes. Dance break! <laughs>
alter ego, the Contessa, and you're singing. The audience is just inches away. And you say, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one, the only, the Caesar. And the Caesar comes dancing out. And you have this Cheshire, Cheshire smile, <laughs> this grin. And you just kind of do this to the Caesar. Oh. And then you exit it. And then I realized the great John Baez left the Caesar a little gift. Uh -oh. How do I put this delicately? You can't, because I remember. You do remember? <laughs> yeah. It was, shall we call it an aromatic mist? You can do that. And I can explain because somebody said to me, you must try wheatgrass drink with this fucking wheatgrass. <laughs> I never had before. I couldn't contain my <laughs> failure. <laughs> At that point, I knew what was blowing in the wind. I'll just say that right now. <laughs> it was. You were right. You know what? I was thinking, should I tell that story or not? <laughs> I just did a spit take. Cheers, dear. Put it up here. Oh. Darling. Now, we have a little game we can play now, John. It's not a game. This is part a segment within this segment called Three Faves. If you can give us three operating establishments that you believe in that you can give a little boost to? Oh, I would suggest the Senegalese Dance and Dinner Club mm -hmm. called Little Bao Bob. It's Afro beat music and Latin music. And I would suggest that for anybody who likes to really dance. Mm -hmm. So there's one in Menlo. It's happy cows and free chickens and happy strawberries and all of it but really, really good. It's called Flea Street. And then one that I go to all the time because it's wonderful and you love it. It's Cuckoo. Ah. It's got one of the original computers from Steve Jobs. Oh, yes. Behind glass. It's got a whole wall full of false teeth, a bunch of bronze booties over here. When you I would walk like in, you're having my booty bronzed. <laughs> I would love that. So, and you walk in, there's a seven foot tall green Statue of Liberty holding a big ice cream cone called Bucks. Bucks of Woodside. I love it. John, now we have a little segment within the segment within the segment. It's called Five and Ten, in which our noted interviewee guesses five famous sites from that city of choice. In this case, San Francisco. If you don't mind, John, I would, I would like to take on the task. I love this game so much. Quake Tower, the Castro Theater, the Golden Gate Conservatory, Hate Ashbury, City Lights Bookstore. Yes! Yes! That was perfect. Before you go, we'd like you to share your charity of choice and we'll put it out there to our, our many viewers. I've been affiliated with it with the Glide Memorial Church for decades, and they always feed the hungry. And now they just have an, un, you know, an unimaginable overflow of people they need to feed. And one section which is particularly around COVID-19 and those needs. So Glide Memorial Church, that's my choice of chair. Wonderful. Thank you, John. How much fun. You and I are a couple of uh, road dogs. We have been thousands of towns we've performed in. You know, I mean, I'm, the, you know I'm the original bag, vagabond. I am, you know, I'm, I'm an unwashed phenomenon. And I'm so glad you are here. I am, and you can call me the girl in the half shell. Oh, <laughs> John, I still have the cufflinks. Oh, you do? I do, thank you. <laughs> any, any parting words, John, before we say goodbye? Yeah, I really want you to come and take me out to Bucks. Let's go! John Byers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, my love. Arrivederci. Arrivederci, John Byers. Oh, yeah. Yes! We love you, San Francisco! Oh, Everybody loves the Caesar, and the Caesar loves you too. Look at you. Oh, yeah! Mm. Oh, Caesar. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, folks, I did not see you there. I, <laughs> I'm glad you're here, though. I know what you're thinking. Hef has his smoking jacket, and the Caesar has a onesie. <laughs> oh, it's always nice to have you here. Let's spend more time together, eh? Why don't you subscribe right here, huh, folks? I love you all. Goodbye, everybody! <laughs>